Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video at Mojo Hookah Lounge. Today we have an interesting discussion uh, which involves tobacco choices and then the flavor choices. So stick with us and find out what's gonna happen. Whatever you do, don't buy double apple. So let's say you're at home, you have a bunch of flavors laying around and then you cannot decide what flavor you wanna, you wanna try today. Um, that's totally fine, happens to all of us every day, all day. My usual suggestion is to mix fruity flavors with some mint. If you like mint, if you don't like mint, then you can mix something sweet and sour. Let's start off with fruity fresh flavors. So for those type of flavors, I usually suggest citrusy flavors such as grapefruit, orange, pineapple, or something like that. If you do have a good pineapple flavor that's not harsh and sour, um, that's usually good. And you can mix it with regular mint or as we usually mix it with cane mint from Tangiers just to get it stronger a bit. Those are the flavors that we usually mix for sweet and um, sweet, sour and fresh flavors. So basically fruity flavors. Um, yeah, try to mix something like grapefruit with mint. That's usually the basic flavor that, that is good and everybody uh, enjoys it. So give it a try. Let us know in the comments how you, how you liked it or if you didn't like it. So yeah, just give us some suggestions on the flavors. All right, so next up, we have dessert type of flavors, uh, which is uh, a specific category of uh, tobacco flavors uh, due to the flavors usually um, being more of a tobacco-ish flavors. So when you, when you enjoy it for quite a while, like let's say you, your session is about an hour already, so you could feel the tobacco leaf flavor from those flavors usually. And uh, if you do decide to try those flavors and you enjoy this type of flavors, I would usually suggest you something like lemon cake from Sherbet Lee, uh, peach spice from Starbuzz. Those are like medium sweetness flavors, but they are really interesting. Third common category that exist in the industry is sour, sweet and sour type of flavors. Usually those are more of a apple flavors uh, or something like lemons, citrus flavors, uh, but you could mix it with berries as well. Comes out pretty good. So usually if I do the sweet and sour flavors, I try to go for green apple, if you can find it in your nearest hookah lounge or the smoke shop or wherever you buy the tobacco. Um, make sure to grab that flavor. That's pretty good. It's from uh, Sherbet Lee. I know that uh, Nahla does them as well. And Fumari has a Fahfahina flavor, which is a red apple, but it's still good apple. And uh, that apple flavor, you can definitely mix it with citrusy flavors. I usually like lemon mint from Fumari or ice lemon from Sherbet Lee. Those uh, uh, good, good lemon, lemony, minty flavors that I'm pretty sure you guys would enjoy. So right now, let's pack a bowl of the dessert type of flavor. I kind of show you the proportions and then um, the basics of mixology. Today, we're gonna show you a different technique of packing a bowl, which is a, a layered packing. Differs from the other packing styles that we showed you previously, due to it being, uh, the tobacco is laying on the bowl with layers. So let's say we have one flavor uh, in the bottom, one flavor in the middle, and then one flavor up top. Today we're making a dessert of flavors. So let's get the lemon cake. This would be our base flavor. So you wanna get the most of this tobacco, which is a lemon cake in our bowl. So I usually grab about 60% of the base flavor. And then we have its own flavors. So lemon cake would be the base. We got pistachio ice cream with blueberry as the tone flavor. Okay, so I'll leave it on the side for now. And the last flavor that we're gonna get would be a peach spice, which is basically baked peach flavor. All right. So again, base flavor and then two notes flavors. So what we wanna do is fluff out the tobacco you could use fork or you could use hand. Okay, so drop the layer, the bottom layer flavor, grab something like a toothpick and arrange the tobacco so it lays flat. So let's grab our second flavor tobacco, which is a baked 
peach peach pie which is peach spice again we're gonna do the same thing break down the tobacco leaves so it's not chunky and then all the leaves are separated drop it in a bowl and arrange this layer one more time so let's get to our last layer which would be a pistachio ice cream blueberry flavor from Sherbetli. It has that creamy taste to it, so it would be perfect for starters. And then I'll explain you how this bowl is gonna work. So the technique is pretty much the same. You get the tobacco, break it down, make sure that the tobacco is fluffy, and then arrange it inside of your bowl so it covers the whole, the whole area or the whole surface. So now that we have everything, in a bowl what i usually like to do is do the hole in the middle and press down the tobacco leaves or the tobacco strands so they don't touch the lotus perfect so we left the hookah for three and or four minutes as of right now um, we did our first pull and then the smoke output is pretty good okay so um some of you might ask why we do it in layers. It's a different technique than uh, mix, than like, you know, a lot of people just mix the whole flavors um, and kind of create one single flavor out of the multiple different flavors. What we did though is basically layers. So one layer, the top layer is, uh, in our case, it's a ice cream with pistachio. A second layer would be a peach pie flavor and then the last flavor would be lemon cake flavor so throughout your session of smoking the tobacco basically burns from top to bottom that creates transfer of the flavor so at the beginning it's more of a creamy flavor in the middle of your session it would be more of a um, like you know spicy flavor uh, with notes of cinnamon and peach and then once you're gonna be finishing up your hookah session, basically the flavor is gonna turn to lemony, citrusy cake. That's the main benefit of using layers. Um, you can definitely mix all those flavors and probably get the, probably get a similar experience, but the way the flavors are gonna be opening, it would be a whole different story. So we sometimes do the layers uh, for more of a flavors that are different or distinct flavors. That way you could feel the transfer of the flavors. All right, so 20 minutes passed and now our um, hookah is more of a cinnamon taste, has cinnamon taste to it as well as peach flavor. Yeah, if you continue smoking, um, the flavor is going to change one more time for the bottom layer. That's when you're going to know that um, your session is almost done. So yeah, uh, a little benefit from that as well. Since there are a lot of flavors in the industry as of right now, you might want to invest your time to do some research on the flavors and then uh, all the different options that you have. It all comes with experience, so don't be afraid to, uh, to experiment with flavors. Um, you might want to mix something citrusy up top and then uh, some earthy tobacco-ish flavors in the bottom. That way you would get unique feeling from the hookah. And always remember that flavors are all about the uh, options. So there are plenty of options. Don't be afraid to try, them, to try them all. And let us know in the comments down below on what's your favorite mix of flavors as well as the brand of tobacco. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell button and leave a comment down below as well as like this video if you liked it. If you loved it, then sub to our channel. Definitely, we'll have some more videos for you guys. Stay tuned and always great to see you guys over here.